Hello and welcome to my channel on the hook crochet where we talk about wearable crochet style and today let's find out what's been on the hook. Welcome to my late week video. That's kind of hard to say. Welcome to my late week video. This is a video on on the hook crochet where we tone things down just a little bit. We might do a book review or a a haul of some yarn, something like that. I have several things that I want to talk about today. And I hope you'll stick with me, grab your crochet or your knitting or whatever it is you're working on, maybe a cup of tea, and uh, sit back and let's talk about all things today crochet. So many funny things have happened in the last month or two for whatever reason, and the mail has been very, very slow. I know one of you had sent me uh, Alice, I believe it is, had sent me a package of patterns and I never received those. And I've been waiting and watching. The man at the post office said, well, just give it a couple of months. Really? I was very surprised. But then when I went to my post box the other day, I found two Christmas cards <laughs> just arrived. So I wanted to show these to you because I showed all my Christmas cards this year very quickly. I didn't read all the sentiments inside or anything, but I wanted to give a shout out to the nice ladies who sent me cards. So this card came from Mary in Pennsylvania. And Mary, that's a cute picture of Santa. Thank you so much. And then from Nikki in Texas, she sent me this card. I know it's late to be talking about Christmas, but hey, I'm just now getting these. And then Nikki also sent me a uh, cold brewed iced tea packet. And uh, there's, I mean, there's probably a, a tea bag in there. So I can use that this spring, which is just about how long it took these two cards to get to me. So thank you again. That's probably all the Christmas cards I'll be receiving this year, but I wanted to give everybody a shout out because you took the time to send me a very pretty card. Now today, what I am wearing. I have been looking through my whips and I found this really pretty whip that I had started and I never finished because I was distracted. So I thought I would grab it and see what I could do with it. There's lots of yarn flying around in here. Um, anyway, this is a shrug. And First of all, let me tell you what I used to make it. I used, for my primary fabric, I used comfy cotton in the colorway poppy and I'm giving some of this away or I already have given it away I'm not sure I'll have to look at that um, I think it's out in my Monday giveaway actually yeah it's in my Monday giveaway for next Monday so be sure to go back to last Monday's video and sign up for this because this is really nice yarn I've I really bought too much of it that's why I'm giving away another cake of this but I this is my cake and I, this is actually the second cake that I used for this particular garment I used a full cake and then I used just a little bit of this one there's just a little bit missing there so this is the primary yarn I used for my fabric and then for my trim I used cobblestone which is another lion brand yarn cobblestone it's all acrylic this is in the color licorice and this is the color I used to trim my garment. It's very pretty yarn. I have several colors of this and I plan to use it this spring to be making some other things. But this is what it looks like. It's um, a wound thread. It's actually it looks like white thread and it's wound around with tiny black thread all the way down. It's a little bit, it's a little bit stretchy. I really like it. It was easy to crochet with. It didn't split at all. There's no halo on it at all. So these are the two, these are the two yarns I use to make the garment that I'm wearing right now. And what I'm wearing, I am wearing my new shrug. And my new shrug is called the Super Simple Shrug because it's super simple to make. And as shrugs go, it's not uh, very fitted but I do have a way for you to measure and make the shrug the exact size that you need. So let me step back and I'll model this for you. I hope you can see that. Um, this is the front of the shrug. It has a, an edging all the way around the back. Now I made my shrug very long. I'm going to step back here and let you see how long it is. It comes right here at the top of my leg. So it is quite long and the front has a large edging on it so it comes closer in the front 
most rugs really just grab the edge of your body here. I didn't want that. I wanted something that came over just a little bit more, but it's not meeting and I'm not putting a button on it or anything. I'm just going to let it fall right here. And then the sleeves also have an edge on them. And I put sleeves in the shrug by seaming up the bottom of the rectangle that you make. And all shrugs are basically made the same. They're made in a big rectangle and then you sew up part of the rectangle to make the armholes and then you can trim it however you want. So I did the basic rectangle and um, I, I wrote it all down. I have a pattern right here called the Super Simple Shrug. Here's me wearing it and here's Crystal modeling it who she really wanted to be on the front of my pattern again. So I said, okay. So I took a picture of her from the side. So you can kind of see uh, how the shrug fits and how the edgings look, both the sleeve edging and the front edging, and it goes all the way around um, the, the neck and the front and the back and the sides. It just goes around in a big circle. So I wrote this all out and I thought, you know what? I'm going to give this to my community. So I'm going to give this pattern away. It's going to be a free pattern. And Today is Thursday, so it will go out tomorrow at, at 2 p.m. I have this ready to go to the community at 2 p.m. So if you're a member of the community, you will receive this free pattern. Now, if you're not a member, go down in the description box and click that link. And it's free to join. You just put in your email address, your first name, and I think your birth date. And that way I can keep up with your birthday. You don't have to put the year, of course, just the month and the day. And I'll send you a birthday greeting. And also, I will send you the free patterns when they come out. So you'll get them automatically in your email inbox. And then uh, if you would sign up today or whenever you sign up, you receive a free pattern right on the spot. So you'll get a Hug Me Cow pattern that I send out to all my community members when they sign up. So be sure to do that. That will come out tomorrow. This new pattern will come out tomorrow at 2 p.m. on Friday. That will be Friday, January 29, 2021. So this pattern will go out to the community, all the members, tomorrow at 2 p.m. So be sure you're in the community and that you're receiving email, but uh, everyone in the community should receive this free pattern. It fits anybody and everybody. And in there, I show you how to measure to start your rectangle to be sure it's wide enough and long enough so that when you make it, it will fit you. <laughs> That's what I did for me. I measured a certain way just, uh, uh, on my body so that I would have the shrug to be the right width and length. And then you put the edge on and it fits you perfectly. So that's how I design all my patterns so that you can measure yourself. The garments fit you perfectly the first time. And I'm, that's just my focus when I'm writing a pattern. That's why I don't put sizes in my patterns. I don't say, oh, it's 23 stitches for a size extra small and then a small and medium. You never know if it's going to fit you or not, even if they give you the measurements. Everything depends on your gauge, on your hook size, on the yarn you choose. I encourage you to do that in all my patterns so that you can make the garment out of the yarn that you like and that it will fit. So we start with measurements and then we make our garment to fit to the measurements and that way it'll fit you when you try it on the first time or the tenth time or whatever it takes when you're making the garment. Some garments take more trying on than others but this one has that way to take your measurement. Be sure you have a tape measure. That's all you need. The yarn you want to use and the hook you feel like you want to use. There's no restriction on any of those things. So uh, be sure you're in the community by tomorrow at 2 p.m. so that you'll receive that free pattern, the Super Simple Shrug. My late week videos are supposedly low-key. I try to not talk so fast. I am really trying to make it a very calm video. I received a package in the mail yesterday with a back order of some yarn that I had ordered from Lion Brand. I had done a review of the Moroccan Nights last week, I believe it was, or maybe two weeks ago, and this is what it looked like. This is the uh, Sultan color, and um, it was really, really pretty. I made it up, and I made that mistake. Remember, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't frogged this out yet, but I had twisted the neck on a top-down sweater. See how I did that? Isn't that sad? <laughs> I can't 
can't believe I did that. It's been sitting over there in my stash and saying, come on, let's get this frogged out. So I'll probably try to do that this week. Um, anyway, this, this is how the Moroccan Nights looks when it's crocheted up. It's a very simple double crochet uh, swatch right there. So that is the color Sultan. Now let me hold this up here so you can see it. This is the color Sultan. It is a kind of a cranberry and kind of gold together and it has a little tiny bit of bling but you can't really see it too well because the bling is the color of the yarn and it just basically disappears in there but you can see it. If you shined a light on this as you were wearing it maybe make a sweater out of it or top uh, you'd be able to see a little bit of that bling, but it's not loud. It's not a loud bling like some yarns are. Now, that is the Sultan color. I received two more colors, and I was really excited to get these. This is the Scarab color, and this is the navy blue, light, kind of a little bit lighter blue with uh, bling in it as well, but the bling is the color of uh, gold, and the gold just really it just disappears in there. I have to agree with some of the other reviewers. It did disappear. And look, it's already starting to... <laughs> it's just, No, it's, it's already starting to um, curl up. Anyway, that's not going to stop me from using it. It's very, very soft, too. I really like this. And apparently they got behind on their orders or they didn't get the shipping in from wherever this is made. And my guess is it's made in the People's Republic of China. Um, there are 273 yards on the ball, 100 grams. And it's all acrylic, 2% polyester. So... Um, it's definitely washable and all that. So this is the color Scarab. It's blues and a little bit of gold mixed in there. So um, you can take a look at that. It's pretty. I like it. It would be really beautiful with blue jeans. Um, just um, or some kind of khaki pants I think would go well with this. Beautiful, beautiful color. I love their colors. And the other color I received is Prince. This is kind of a pink and blue combination. Uh, it's, it's pink and a little bit of light, almost white there, and then navy blue mixed in there. So the bling here is blue. The bling is blue, and you can actually see that pretty well. I'll try to get this up here where you can see it. All that is bling in there. Those little tiny speckles, that's bling. And this again is called Prince. This is the color Prince. This is the color uh, Scarab, Prince, Scarab, and then this is Sultan, which was my first choice, and I'm glad they sent that first. But I do like all three of those colors. They're very beautiful. And you can go back and watch my review. It's pretty easy to find. I think it's on my thumbnail. It says Moroccan Nights on there, pretty big, so you can find it. And you can take a look at um, this more in detail. But again, I really like this yarn. There's nothing I don't like about it, except that it does curl up a little bit. So as I work with it, I'll let you all know how it goes. So let's move on to another thing that I wanted to talk I'm about. finally getting around to my Romantic Crochet book review love this book. This is a beautiful book, just like Making with Meaning that I reviewed a few weeks ago by um, Jessica Carey. This is by Emma Escott, and there's her name right there at the bottom, Emma Escott. And she wrote this beautiful book called Romantic Crochet, and inside are some beautiful, beautiful patterns of um, romantic crochet, what she considers to be romantic crochet. See the flowers along the edge? Everything is in neutrals and pinks. Uh, there are 20 projects in this book, and they're all in the romantic style, like um, they have a lot of ruffles in there, pinks and pastels, neutrals, and um, easy to make projects. Nothing um, really fitted, maybe one or two items that are, I think there are a couple of sweater patterns in here that are for spring and summer. But this is a picture of Emma. I'll let you show, show you what she looks like. This is Emma. And she has a YouTube channel called uh, Lulu Loves Crochet. Lulu Loves Crochet. And I will put a link to that in the description box. There's also a 
a special video where she talks about her book and all the things that are in here and what she was thinking when she wrote the book and the book has a lot of information in it it has the stitches abbreviations hook size conversion tables all that is on the front flap and of course it has a flap which I really like because you can mark your page with that and then I wanted to bring to your attention a, a few items that are in here that I really liked. First of all, this is the this is the um, project pages where there are pictures of certain things that she has uh, written here and designed, and this is just kind of an overview of what what's in the book. Really, really love it. I really love all of her designs. They're pretty. I'm not a big pink person, as y'all know, um, but I do like beautiful crochet. I do like it, and she does so many beautiful projects in here. She does not talk about herself too much. She makes a statement or two before each each pattern in, on the front page of each pattern, and then she talks about um, what you can use it for, but she doesn't talk about herself too much. And even on the front inside flap, it's all just information. The uh, the last page, the flap that I showed you, has a little bit about her life, and she takes inspiration from classics and novels that she sees, and also from the changing seasons, and she was asked to write this book, apparently, so her blog is lululoves, L-U-L-U loves, dot C-O dot U-K, and that's her blog, and I'll put that in the description box as well. The photography in here is quite beautiful. Here is an example of a close-up of an item, and then if you notice that it fades in the distance at the top. I just like the way that looks. I don't know. There are lots of charts in here. Here's one right here, you can see. And they're all color-coded. They're beautifully done. Here's an example of a top that she's designed. It has motifs along the sides, and then three, three double crochet stitch in the back, and then more motifs on the side. Let's see what the front looks like on that. I think it's quite beautiful, yes. Here's a picture of the front of that particular sweater. It has motifs down the sides, and then it's filled in with a, a neutral color yarn. I like that, and Emma's actually modeling that. That's so nice that she's modeling her own designs. I just think that is so cool. Now, I wanted to show you a couple of things. This is the Lacy Cocoon Shrug. This is gorgeous, of course. It's not like Jeannie's super simple shrug. <laughs> this is super simple to make. It is not in a fancy stitch. This is a, this is a beautiful fancy stitch right there. It's not beyond you if you're even a beginner because you're making a rectangle shaped piece so it's not like you have to do increases and decreases using a shell stitch or a fancy lace stitch um, I might try that if I if I come across um, some yarn that might work I might try that I don't know it's a pretty good sized project but the youtuber who calls herself cherry heart actually made this made this uh, shrug and it was beautiful she did it in the same color the very neutral color and she modeled it the other day on her video and I'll try to get a, uh, a link to that and put it in the description box for you so you can see that now I thought this was interesting every time I, I buy a book I like to make something out of the book and this had a section on floral face cloths and cleansing pads. Now I don't use those, but I thought, you know what, I could use that for a coaster. Isn't that pretty? It's just a very pretty design. It's not difficult at all to make. So I grabbed my 24-7 mint and um, kind of an off-white color by Lion Brand, and I made one of those little coasters. Isn't that cute? I really like it. So easy to make just extremely easy to make nothing special about it except the colors that you choose and since this cotton I use it for my coaster to put my coffee on on my desk now Monday I talked about a uh, crochet calendar and I had made one of these it's a little bit larger than my um, romantic crochet coaster see there's quite a bit of difference there 
but I've been using this as like a little mug rug, if you know what that is. It's a, um, a, a crocheted or knitted piece of fabric, and it's just big enough to hold maybe a small plate and a cup or um, just to hold your big cocoa cup or something like that. So I've been using it on my desk. Really enjoy looking at it because the colors are so pretty. But again, this is what I made from the book. And this is a face cleansing pad is what this is. And I would never use it for that. <laughs> I use an old washcloth to take my makeup off. But I thought that was a pretty little project I could make quickly that I could show you that I've actually used her instructions and they're very very good I like them and she makes it out of all cotton there are lots of beautiful um, projects in here and again the photography is gorgeous look at those those are fingerless, fingerless mittens and look how pretty they are she uses a combination of very beautiful colors in her projects so I wanted to show you that and one of my favorite projects is right on the back right here and this is a teapot cozy it's called now I do not own a teapot I don't drink tea but for those of you who do or have a, maybe a grandmother that likes to use a teapot or a friend who likes to use a teapot you could make this cozy it is made in um, almost like in a square and the ruffles are then attached and I'm not sure how all that um, comes about in her her pattern but um, she's obviously made all these designs and in her video that I will put the link to down there she talks about all about it if you're interested it's a great video to watch it's a little bit long but you know what it talks about most of all the projects that are in here and why she wrote the book and how she wrote it and what she went through to write it so um, all in all this is a beautiful beautiful book it is a great investment for your library for your crochet library you would love to have it you might grab it and say hey I want to make that shrug or I want to make that cowl or that sh that scarf and uh, the the instructions are very thorough I didn't have any problem following them and um, it's a very beautifully done book so again that is Romantic Crochet by Emma Escott and you can buy it on Amazon. You might be able to buy it on her website. I don't know. I didn't go there. I just went to Amazon and ordered it. So um, the price was, I think it was $18.99. So it's not a small investment, but it is a nice thing to have on your bookshelf. And uh, you can refer to it when you want to or use it for projects or just flip through it for inspiration. I have a little housekeeping to do. The giveaway that I had last week was the Karen Latte Cake and the winner of the Karen Latte Cake was Susan Hebert. She won the Pretty Plum Karen Latte Cake. I have not heard from Susan unless there's something on my email this morning. I have not heard from Susan Hebert. So Susan, if you're watching this, please send your mailing address to my email address, which is down in the description box and let me know where to send this because it's sitting around and it's been I think a couple of weeks. I, I'm a little worried that Susan um, hasn't received my replies to her comment where she actually put a comment on my video to uh, be in the running for this and what I do if I don't hear from somebody I will go to their original comment and I'll reply to it and say you've won please send me your address. Well I haven't heard back from Susan yet so Susan, if you're watching this, be sure you send me your mailing address so I can get this off to you in the mail. So again, that's Susan Hebert, H-E-B-E-R-T. Also, I have not heard from Kimberly Needham. Kimberly Needham um, is receiving a uh, crochet magazine, and I have never heard from Kimberly that I know of. Kimberly and Susan both. Forgive me if I've missed your email, so send it to me again your mailing address and in the subject line put winner or winner of the Karen cake or winner of the crochet magazine please so that I won't miss it I, I receive a lot of emails every single day so I may have missed it I usually don't I'm usually very careful about that because I, I like to get these gifts out the door in the mail and to you so uh, I don't want them sitting around because I'm trying to clean out my stash so I've got lots of things here to give away Speaking of giveaways, today is our giveaway for several things that I announced last late week video, which was on last, I believe, last Thursday. 
And let's go over that real quick. Then we'll turn the camera to the computer and find out who wins these three gifts. Late week video last week was on the 21st. And I listed three gifts that we're giving away and the keyword was twist, T-W-I-S-T. -T. So winner number one will receive the Red Heart Hooga yarn in the colorway Pearl. And beautiful, beautiful, very, very soft. Hooga yarn, if you haven't tried it, is quite wonderful. I love it. Not sponsored by anybody in this video ever, except for Crochet Surprise. Every now and then I'll, I'll do a Crochet Surprise box. I'm not sponsored by anyone, but it may in the future happen, but right now I'm not sponsored by anybody. So winner number one will receive three balls of Hooga yarn. I know I said two balls, but I put three balls along the bottom of the video, but I wanted you to know this winner will receive three balls of Hooga yarn in the colorway Pearl. Winner number two will receive three balls of ZZ Twist in the colorway Royal Blue. And this is a gorgeous color. It really is very deep. I'll pull it back here. See how deep that is? Very beautiful. And uh, ZZ Twist is the brand. It's Lion Brand Yarn. And it's 100% acrylic. And it's supposedly twisted for ease of crochet. I don't know if that's true or not. I, I did not try this. I bought purple and I bought blue and uh, the blue is uh, going to give away winner number two. So I have three balls of this to go to the second giveaway winner. Winner number three will receive two cakes of comfy cotton in the colorway Ocean Breeze. And there it is. Beautiful colors. Oh, just gorgeous. This would make a really nice sweater or top to wear with jeans. I really love this. It's all different colors of blue in there, including turquoise, a little navy, a little bit light blue. So two cakes of that will go to giveaway winner number three. So let's turn the camera to the computer, find out who wins these gifts. Here we are, and the camera is pointing to the computer. This is the, well, let me go up here. This is the URL from last week up here. I have it in here. And then the keyword is twist. So let's find out how many people are in the running for these three gifts. And that would be 397 comments had the word twist. So that's how many people are in the running for these gifts. So, so let's find out who wins giveaway gift number one. And that would be the three balls of Hugo yarn. That goes to Susan Susan. All right, and there's the word twist in her comments. She's the winner of the first gift, the Hooga yarn. So let's go back down here and pick another winner. And this winner will receive the three balls of ZZ Twist. So let's find out who does that. And that would be June Little. Let's get up here where we can see it. June Little, and there's the word twist in her comment. So June Little, you are winner number two. Now let's find out who wins the two cakes of comfy cotton yarn in the colorway Ocean Breeze. That would be Valerie McGruder. Valerie McGruder. So Valerie, I remember your name coming up before, but it's okay for people to win twice. It's okay. I don't make any rules about that. So Valerie, you are the winner of the two comfy cotton cakes. So congratulations to everyone. Please send me your mailing address to my email address and I will get that right out to you. Okay, so we're back and congratulations to the three winners that I announced just now. Um, I do want to have a giveaway for next week and the giveaway next week will be three balls of ZZ Twist. And oh, look at this, it's just coming off there. <laughs> I haven't used it yet though. It just happened to come off, but um, this is ZZ Twist, and the colorway is grape, and it looks like a grape. It's very beautiful. Three balls of this will go to giveaway winner number one for next late week video. So be sure to put a comment down in the comment box below using the word past, P-A-S-T, somewhere in your comment, the word past because let me show you what our second giveaway winner will receive. The first one will receive the three balls of ZZ Twist. The second winner will receive the wooden flat crochet hook. See that how flat that is? That is so cool. If you want to try this, sign up for the giveaway. And this is a handmade beautiful wooden 
crochet hook. It was only about eight or nine dollars, including uh, it came to actually thirteen dollars. It's called Living in the Past. Is the um, Etsy creator who made this beautiful hook. I have no use for it. I've got a thousand hooks, so I don't need any more hooks. And I thought I would let y'all try that. So um, giveaway winner number two will receive this beautiful ash wood crochet hook in the flat style. Last Monday I talked about the crochet calendar that I found at Bed Bath & Beyond. And some of y'all have written me and said, I looked for it and they were out. Yeah, that's true. I probably, I got the only two left in my city. Now, I don't know about um, other cities, there may be some still available, and they're well worth the cost of that, um, whatever they're charging. I, it shouldn't be anywhere near $14.99, which is the full retail price. So, I talked about this last Monday, and you might want to look at that video where I reviewed all the patterns, or some of the patterns in here. These are the patterns that are actually in the calendar, so let me show you those. Really nice. Be sure to go back and look at the video, because I went into... Um, detail about what was in here but all the patterns are in here for those particular projects and the day each month has one of those projects featured so I know you'll like this this is the last one I have I'm giving another one away on Monday for Monday's video so if you want to sign up for both of them sign up for this week's video which will be given out this will be given away next Thursday so be sure to put the word past p-a-s-t and you'll have a shot at one of those three gifts, the ZZ Twist, the Crochet Hook, or the Crochet Calendar. So I'm going to leave that right there. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I will be back on Monday. Be sure to join the community if you haven't because that free pattern is going out tomorrow at 2, so remember that. And join me next time to find out what's on the hook. <laughs>